In this video, we're gonna be looking at a question which involves perpendicular lines. Okay, so here is the question. A straight line passes through A14 and B56, so these two points. Okay, find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to AB and which also passes through the midpoint of AB. So if you get given a question like this, it might be good and it might be a good idea for you to do a quick sketch of the information that you've just been given. So point A at that point 1, 4 and B at the point 5, 16 and there's the straight line. Okay, so what we're looking for is a look, we're looking for a line that's perpendicular to AB and which also passes through the midpoint of AB. So here is the midpoint of AB there and this line has to be perpendicular to it. So it's going to look something like that. Okay, and we want the, the equation of that line. So now we've done that, we need to first of all find the gradient of this line here, AB. We need to figure out that uh, gradient. So in order to work out the gradient, you do the change in Y over the change in X. Okay, so the Ys are 16 and 4, and the X is 5 and 1. So the change in Y is 16 minus 4, and the change in X is 5 minus 1 and you will get three as the gradient of AB. So the gradient of that line is three. The next thing we do, okay, the next thing we do is, now we know the gradient of that line is three, what must be the gradient of that line? Well, the gradient of the perpendicular line is gonna be the negative reciprocal of the other line. So if that line is three as a gradient, this line is going to be minus 1 over 3 because that's the negative reciprocal. Okay, so we've done that bit now. The next bit we need to figure out is there was a point it talked about in the question, the midpoint. Okay, let's call that point M. The midpoint is going to go through that point. So what is that point? How do we work that out? Well, what you do is you add up the x's and divide by 2 and add up the y's and divide by 2 and then you'll be left with the coordinate. So that's what I'm doing down here. Midpoint of line AB is 5 plus 1 over 2 and 6 plus 4 over 2 and then you'll be left with 3, 10. So that point there is 3, 10. Okay. Now the equation of the perpendicular line is going to be y equals minus a third because that's the gradient y equals minus a third x plus c we need to figure out what c is the c is where it cuts the uh the y-axis okay now the way we figure out what c is we need to rearrange it so c equals y plus a third x so rearrange this to make C the subject. And then we put the 310, the midpoint, that, 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 that coordinate there, we put that into this equation. So Y equals 10 and X equals 3. So that means C equals 10 plus one third of 3. So C equals 11. So therefore, we now have the information for the equation of the, of the line is y equals minus a third x plus 11. Okay, because it's y equals mx plus c. The m was minus a third. And 11 was the y-intercept. And that's how you do that. Any questions, just leave them down below.